condition to the understanding of pressure on and pressure off. Because most of these dogs, you cannot apply distance pressure because they fight and they fly. They don't have that down yet. So we're talking about how to control that, but take your time. We've, we've done amazing stuff with the dogs at Mary's. So you'll see today, I would just do one at a time. When I first started this, I had 15 dogs and I just started with one at a time. I was in the same situation. But I mean, the, my problem is if I teach one, yeah, and then the other is not yet, <laughs> right? Yeah. Then they're gonna misbehave, and she's gonna be like, "Well, they're misbehaving." So I mean, I don't know how. Yeah. Do you crate train at all? No. Okay. And most of your dogs go to the states, though. No, yes. my, these are my dogs, my personal, personal. dogs that okay. live in my house. It yeah. might be something to consider, um, because to really practice good things, practice makes permanent. So we want to only try and practice good things. Okay. But we'll talk about it. And it seems overwhelming when you're starting with 10 dogs, but if you just take baby steps, it, it is very, it's very feasible and it's very reasonable to take time to do that. So we can, we can help make it a little bit easier for you because I don't want you to seem overwhelmed. Okay. <laughs> 就什么都没有办法打到。Hi. <laughs> um, I think probably what we should do. Um, do we want to take a break right now and then work with more, or we want to? Yeah, I think we should take another quick break. Yeah. I really like taking like breaks, so we'll keep this one actually real short. So five minutes, but just to stand up, stretch, and then we'll start yeah. working with the guys. Five minutes, then we'll start working with the guys. Okay. Okay. Uh, Okay. Okay. On the hockey? Do you know who that one is? Okay. 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 Yeah, it's so hard. It's so much to follow. Like, we went one day.